Welcome to Questrade Self-Directed Investing. So you're interested in buying a stock, but you don't know how to place a trade at Questrade. Placing a trade with your tools is quite easy. In this short video, we're going to cover looking up a symbol, entering order details, and sending the order so that you can get started if you don't have any stocks in your account. All right, let's get started with looking up the symbol for what we'd like to purchase. You'll see on the right the order entry pane, and if you don't, click the big green buy or sell button to open it. In the ticker, go ahead and type the name or symbol of the stock you'd like. For now, let's use Apple. You'll see the symbol, name, and in which market the stock is traded. Select it from the drop-down menu. Easy, right? Up next, you'll need to enter order details where you'll choose the number of stocks, an order type, and duration for your order. So in the quantity field, enter the number of stocks you'd like to buy. For now, let's buy one. Next, we'll choose an order type. For some background on order types, the most common ones are market and limit orders. Market orders fill instantly at the best available market price. And limit orders let you decide at what price you want to buy your stock. If stocks become available, the order will be filled at our set limit price. It helps that the order entry window shows the current bid, ask, and last price. So when you're entering a limit order, you'll be able to see the current market price. Unless you subscribe to a data package for real-time data, you'll need to refresh the market data by clicking here. Unsure what bid and ask is? Hover over each one to get a nice short description. Fun fact, if you click the bid and ask fields, they'll auto-populate the limit order price field for you. So let's choose a limit order and set the price at 169, just below the bid and ask amount. If the market shifts below 169, the order will be filled. So the duration tells you how long your order will stay open. The most common types are day orders and good till canceled orders or GTCs. Day orders auto cancel at the end of the trading day if they're not filled. Good till canceled orders stay open until they're filled or manually canceled, just as their name implies. Let's choose a day order this time. All right, so you found your stock, chose the number of stocks you'd like, and entered the order type and duration for your order. Finally, you're getting ready to send your order, but before you do, check the account type. This should auto-populate based on which account you've logged into, but it's best to double check, especially if you have multiple trading accounts. Are you ready? hit the big green buy button. This will open a confirmation window to quickly review the order details. So we're buying one share of Apple at a limit price of 169. It also gives details like estimated commission and changes in buying power. So if you're happy with the order, go ahead and click the send order button. If you'd like to check the status of any trade orders placed, click the account button to go to the summary screen and the orders tab. That's it. We've covered how to place a trade in three easy steps by looking up a symbol, entering order details, and sending the order. You should now be able to do it all on your own. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see something else, leave us a comment and we'll see what we can do.